Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again and today we will learn how to update firmware version of Netgear Nighthawk X6S AC3000 EX8000 tri-band Wi-Fi range extender. Guys, it is always recommended to keep your device's firmware up to date. Also, most extenders will show you the option to update its firmware once you log in into its web user interface. Now, in order to update any Netgear Extenders firmware, you first need to log in into your Extenders web page. For this, first make sure that your Extender is plugged into the wall and it should be all set up and working. Also, your laptop or computer should be connected to the Extenders network name. Once connected, open a browser on the very same device and in the URL type myWiFiEXT.net or use myWiFiEXT.local or try 192.168.1.250 and hit enter. This should bring Netgear EX8000 login page where you simply just need to type your username and password to login into it. If My Wi-Fi EXT is not working for you, then you need to log in into Extender's web page using its IP address. Watch our video on how to log in into any Wi-Fi range extender using its IP address. The link is given in the description. Now, once you are logged in into the extender, click on the menu option and then to settings and then go to firmware update. There, you will see two options. First is to check online and the second is to browse and upload. So if you click on check online, it will automatically check for latest firmware version if available and then will ask your permission to update it or not. If you click on yes, then it will automatically update it for you. And the second option is to browse. So basically in this one, you first need to download the firmware from Netgear's official website that is downloadcenter.netgear.com the link is provided in the description on the website you need to type your device's model number and on the right hand side you will see firmware slash software and the top one is the latest one click on it to download it and once downloaded you will have to extract the files on your local system now go back to your extenders web page and click on the browse option. Next, select the file from your local system that you extracted. The firmware file ends with .img extension. Do kindly note that during the time the extender is updating its firmware, do not turn off the system or the extender. Moreover, do not try to go online until its firmware update is completely finished. So the firmware update takes a couple of minutes and after that the extender restarts again. Now you will be able to connect your phones, laptops, smart TVs to extenders network again. Just in case the firmware is corrupt and your extender is not working after firmware update then we recommend you to reset your EX8000 extender and then try the setup again. We have already made videos on how to reset EX8000 extender and how to set it up too. The link is provided in the description. Also, one very important thing to note down is that when you try EX8000 extender setup, make sure you don't end up on third party websites who might scam you for hundreds of dollars and might also steal your data. We have made a complete video on how to save yourself from this Netgear Extender scam. The link is provided in the description again. Moreover, if any certain firmware version is causing an issue in your extender, then we recommend you to downgrade the firmware by downloading it from downloadcenter.netgear.com and uploading it on your extender's firmware page. Moreover, we do also provide independent support for different gadgets like printers, routers, smart TVs, Roku, Alexa, extenders, etc. So if you need technical help with any home appliance, then you can get in touch with our technicians on our official website, devicessetup.com. 
The link is provided in the description. And if you find this video useful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.